Oh my god, we got the biggest GPU ever about to launch and so much more to talk about in today's video, so let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by RGB Swap. If you're looking for a better alternative to eBay with lower fees and better protection, make sure to check out RGB Swap linked in the description below. That's right, you heard me correctly, Nvidia is about to release the biggest GPU they have ever created, at least according to some information that comes from the chip hell forms. Now you gotta keep in mind, we should probably take this with a big grain of salt because there is a chance that this could just be speculation, uh, but it does kind of make a lot of sense. But let's go ahead and take a look at it and then I'll give you my thoughts on it. So, according According to the user Powder Sausage, he says one 3070 Ti 16G has been officially killed. You don't have to worry about it. Two 3090 Ti is bigger than expected. The mem needs to be replaced, and the mem that is not on the PCB is directly replaced with a new mem. The official release date is March 29th. Now, despite the fact that this is just a rumor, honestly, this does make a whole lot of sense to me. And just for a refresher, real quick, if you don't know what the RTX 3090 Ti is, it is going to be the world's fastest GPU at least until the RTX 40 series does end up coming out later this year and absolutely demolishes it. But until then, yes, it's going to be the fastest GPU and it's basically just going to be a slight upgrade over the current RTX 3090. Now, apparently it's going to have higher clock speeds, a higher TDP. We're going to be seeing the full GA102. So that means it's going to have a few more CUDA cores there. And then on top of all that, it's going to have faster memory and it could potentially also have all of the memory on one side of the GPU with none on the back. We'll have to just wait and see when it comes out, if that does end up being true. But if that is the case, honestly, that's probably the biggest improvement, not having to worry about those insane memory temperatures on the back of the GPU. But overall, we're probably talking about a card that's going to be, you know, maybe anywhere between 5 and 15% faster than an RTX 3090. Honestly, 15% can be kind of pushing it. It's probably going to be closer to 10% or even less on average. And if you take an RTX 3090 and you got a good one and you overclock it, it'll honestly get very, very close to the 3090 Ti. So it's not necessarily a groundbreaking card in terms of its performance, but I do know there's going to be people out there who are going to be very very excited for this GPU as it is going to technically be once again the fastest GPU on the market so for those of you out there who are looking to get the absolute fastest it looks like it's going to be coming out possibly even sooner than we originally thought it looks like people were talking about potentially this thing being delayed for a very long time I've been saying that's probably not going to be the case it's going to be coming out uh, pretty soon here and at least according to this rumor it looks like that could end up being the case because March 29th yeah it's not too far away so if you're looking forward to this card you're probably not going to have to wait much longer as I do believe this does actually add up and it makes a whole lot of sense that it probably will be releasing fairly soon. But wait, there's more. You thought that that was all we had to talk about today. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have a way more stuff to talk about today in today's video. We got a lot of stuff about GPUs to go over. And the next bit of news I want to talk to you guys about is actually about the RDNA 2 refresh. Now, this one's a really bizarre one, but according to yet another post over on the Chip Hell forums, and this time apparently it's less of a rumor. Now, of course, it is still technically a rumor, but Video Cards claims that this user enthusiastic citizen is actually a well-known leaker. So it looks like we have a lot more credibility with this post, but again, he's still probably should take it with a little bit of a grain of salt, but according to Enthusiastic Citizen, here's what he's had to say about the RDNA 2 refresh. Quote, 4 slash 20 or 4 slash 21, several new cards, RX 6950 XT, RX 6750 XT, and the RX 6650 XT will be a little bit more expensive than the current ones without 50. All three cards have been upgraded to 18 gigabits per second, and the performance has also been slightly improved. There's a low-end bright machine card, RX 6400. So there you go. If this leaker's to be believed, it looks like we could be getting an entire RDNA 2 refresh by the end of April. Now, real quick, if you don't know, RDNA 2 is actually the RX 6000 series of GPUs from AMD, so that would include stuff like the RX 6900 XT, so the 6950 XT would allegedly be just a little bit faster than something like that. So I think you get the idea it's going to be a slight bump in terms of performance. Honestly, unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be slightly more expensive if this leaker is to be believed, but if you are looking forward to even faster cards out of AMD as well. It looks like they're going to be coming out in the not too distant future as well as the RTX 3090 Ti. So we got a lot of competition coming out, but wait, there's even more. Speaking of competition 
and AMD as well as Nvidia, well we also have Intel to worry about and it looks like we got some more information about Intel's upcoming GPUs that are going to be hitting the market in not too long here from Igor over at Igor's lab. Now if you don't know this guy actually does some pretty great work but here's what he had to say about the upcoming GPUs from Intel. Quote, several different sources have told me of another Intel card postponement, at least as far as SKU 1 to 3, the three performance models are concerned. There are currently consistent rumors that the first models will be released between May 2nd, 2022 and June 1st of 2022. Now supposedly these three cards that are being talked about here are actually going to be the three highest performance cards coming out from Intel, so the ones that you guys are probably going to be a little bit more interested in. So that's great news to hear that apparently these things are going to be coming out in Q2 as many of us uh, were actually speculating. I know if you guys have been watching me, I've been talking about that we probably would be seeing these actual high performance Intel GPUs hitting the market sometime in Q2 and I have been speculating probably mid to late Q2, so this does actually add up and makes a whole lot of sense. Honestly, I think this is is going to be the case so if you are looking forward to Intel hitting the market and disrupting things as I do believe they will you're gonna have to wait just a little bit longer as we are just entering Q2 now so it's gonna be a little bit of a wait couple months here before these cards start to hit the market hopefully there aren't any further delays because if Intel delays these things any further it's definitely gonna be bad news for them and hopefully they can produce enough of these I know they've been talking about making millions of GPUs to serve the market but we also have to keep in mind that we do need many many millions of GPUs so hopefully they can make enough millions of GPUs to eventually disrupt this basically duopoly that's going on here at least that's what I would call it because it seems like you know maybe AMD and Nvidia aren't quite competing as well as they used to it would really be helpful if we could get Intel into the market and mix things up a little bit get some more competition going there so that we can finally get prices driving down especially on the entry to mid-level where it looks like Intel is going to be competing at least with their first generation GPUs and this is definitely sorely needed right now but hey that's just what I think when do you think Intel is going to be releasing their GPUs let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.